All right. What do you want to talk about? Wow. Hi, everybody. How you doing? What a ridiculous last 24 hours. Not even 24 hours. This thing happened at 11 o'clock at night. I'm getting ahead of myself. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the weekend. It's the long weekend. Hope you are ready to relax. And then get off your couch and get out of your seat because it's time. Watch Hockey Night in Canada with Steve Dangle presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. You see, it's a little different. It's like last week, but a little different. Also, the can is very small. I am not very large. The Toronto Maple Leafs are taking on the behemoth titans that are the Montreal Canadiens. And if you're a Habs fan listening to this, you might be like, hey, that's kind of insulting. But then you realize I'm actually making fun of the Leafs because the Leafs have not beaten them this season. And that would have been the story heading into this game. Had the Toronto Maple Leafs, led by Kyle Dubas, not dropped this bomb, bomb, late last night, just before 11 o'clock Eastern, an absolutely preposterous, stupendous, dare I say miraculous trade, a three-way trade. And I said it. Not that they would do a three-way trade for Ryan O'Reilly. But I have said many times, in many ways, many different places. Kyle Dubas is a a creature of habit. He likes trading down at the draft. And at the deadline, he likes his one-stop shopping. This is the top six. Bunting Matthews Nylander. You know what? That's actually pretty good. But it's normal. And we're used to it. Second line. I think the Leafs have found their their second line left winger. John Tavares. <laughs> Ryan O'Reilly as their second line center. Mitch Marner as their second line right winger. Preposterous. There he is. Look how silly that looks. Entertain us. Can you imagine? Watch Hockey Night in Canada with Steve Dangle presented by Coca-Cola. Zero sugar. Oh, here we go. Get it in. Line looks pretty good so far. The Leafs have already changed. There's Giordano. That's another guy who looks ridiculous in a Leaf uniform. What a weird couple weeks it's going to be for the Leafs, because Dubas hinted at not being done. And it's not impossible for the Leafs to make a trade without getting rid of someone from their roster, but it's very unlikely. Names that have been out there, Kerfoot, Hall, they're always out there. But even David Camp, I was surprised to see his name. Look, Kerfoot is... At least at the opening face-off, the fourth line right winger. And he makes $3.5 million. So, in terms of who do the Leafs get, I don't know. But I can tell you that's who they need to get rid of if they are going to make a significant addition to the team, if that makes sense. It's nothing against the guy. It's just the math is not mathing. I tell you what, though. I don't care how they win tonight. They got to win. Purely for vibes. You win a sloppy one, but you win. Two guys, new in the room. Everyone's feeling renewed, rejuvenated. Come on. Can't tell me that doesn't just send adrenaline through that dressing room. Dubas loves his tiny trades. I feel like he hyper fixates on guys. And I think when he gets, like, a fifth-line player from the AHL who has, like, a 10% chance of becoming, like, a legit third-liner, he's like, yes! Like, I just feel like he's a hipster like that. So, no, I don't think they're making deals. Are they done big deals? Well, put it this way. I don't think they're adding any more $10 million players. Not that O'Reilly's 10 mil. <laughs> the Leafs have O'Reilly for one8 
They're barely paying this guy. Uvia said, Steve, how's your nose? How's your nose been? So I can mostly breathe out of it properly. For those of you who don't remember, uh, I had to miss a stream because uh, on a Saturday in December, I was playing uh, with my dog on the floor and uh, he thrashed and broke my nose. Like broke the, the cartilage, the bone, all of it. And I think the doctor who fixed it did a pretty good job. But there's definite scarring. I think only I can see it. Nylander rebound! Gets his own! Jake Allen has been stellar. This is the Leafs. Like, other line. <laughs> like, listen. I know it's 0-0. Zero, zero. I know it's not the playoffs. I know this. I know that. I know a little of this and that. But their lineup reads funny. Tavares is on, he's on the wing! On purpose! That's hilarious! He's on the wing on purpose because it makes sense for him to be there. I mean, those guys alone, holy smokes. Gotta get your hockey ball. I missed. Oh! Off the face-off! Aston Reese robbed by Allen. Rebound! All the Leafs have had some great chances in this opening period, but Allen has been great. Lots of chaos in front of the net. No deflection. Not one to the back of the net anyway. Sheldon, you're failing us. There's less than 30 seconds to go in the period. Just throw out Matthews, Nylander, Marner, Tavares, O'Reilly. That's an actual thing the Leafs can do. How? How? That's so goofy. Oh, Habs got a three on two here. Oh, Habs throw it through the slot. They might get a chance for one more shot. They do. And Ryan O'Reilly, veteran presence. Simply skates it into the corner. Bit of a shaky end of that period. Ooh. Sandine holding that hand. Bit of a... Bit of a shaky end to that period, but overall a pretty good one. And mostly story time, because Ryan O'Reilly is a Leaf, and that is truly ridiculous. First intermission, here we are on Watch Hockey Night in Canada with Steve Dangle, presented by Coca-Cola. Zero sugar, pinkies out, because we're fancy like that. On to the second period we go. Leafs, Habs, Hockey Night in Canada with Steve Dangle, presented by Coca-Cola. Zero sugar. And here we go. Looking for a first goal of the game. Have wide open in front. Oh boy. See what I mean? Habs put it on. Deflection and a goal. Josh Anderson with the big celebration in front. Did he get a tip? Who leads the line? Josh Anderson leading the line. Matheson took the shot. I guess we'll get a replay. And Sheldon Keith, for a guy who said last game, ah, we're not going to evaluate it too much, looks pretty upset. Shot. And yeah, I believe that does go off Josh Anderson. Matheson puts it on. Anderson just bullying his way to the front. And you know, you asked me earlier in the game, what do the Leafs potentially need? They get bullied in front a lot. I can forgive the Leafs for playing a little distracted. After all, it is two weeks out from trade deadline, and it sure seems like someone's probably going to get traded. But uh, the pressure does not go down in the playoffs. And the Leafs, after giving up a 1-0 lead, are hemmed in their own end. Can they break it out here? Well, they flub it a bit. At least they get it over the line. But they're chasing it behind their own net again. They allowed the first goal of the game. Can they get it back? It's looking pretty decent. They were getting traffic in front. Abandoned the front of the net a little bit. Marner dancing with it, though. He might take it himself. And that's going to be the game's first penalty. A clear trip. Getting some new bodies over the boards. 
You're gonna leave school! Austin Matthews creates the turnover, sends it to Michael Bunting, who buries it. The quote-unquote second unit. Do they have a second unit anymore? Is the second unit just three guys and we'll keep Marner and Matthews out there? The possibilities are endless, but that is a nice feed from Austin Matthews to Michael Bunting, who's got a nose from the net, scored that right in the blue paint. And we got a tied game. This is a great one. Did you enjoy the Brownies last week? So, I don't know if you remember this, but the Leafs lost to the Columbus Blue Jackets, who at the time were the worst team in the league. I think they're second worst now. Good for them. Uh, but they were the worst team in the league, and I was very grumpy about it, and I was upset. But then, producer Louise reminded me, as I had told everybody earlier in the program, in the stream, that my wife had made brownies upstairs. So it was all grumpy and mad, and then I was able to go upstairs and have brownies, and I wasn't as mad. Shot by Tavares! If they scored, that would have been such a good clip. We were robbed. He felt very fake but bad about it. He was looking at me like, I know I'm supposed to feel bad. So I'm going to make my, what I think my I feel bad face is. But really, I thought it was very funny. His bluey water cup. Engvall! Shot! Oh! And it goes in! Bluey cheering for the blue and white team! And Engvall puts the Leafs up for their first lead of the game. And the word, the world's fastest draft. The man who the Leafs locker room calls Sea Biscuits puts the Leafs up. Joseph Wall with a great stop there on Mike Hoffman just moments ago. Engvall, great job along the boards. Habs just turn it over. Kovacevic, too busy thinking about another chirp to give Austin Matthews. Doesn't have his man. Engvall shoots it. Squeezes through Jake Allen, who can't get back to it in time. Sea Biscuit. Jorge says, can you tell us your daily routine? So I get asked this a lot. I'm not going to lie. Um, I guess the fun thing about my life is there is no routine. <laughs> like the Leafs play at all different times, all different teams, all different days of the week. 30 seconds already gone. It goes fast, but what a play! Willie tucked it in behind Allen. Oh, oh wow, that happened in a flash. The Leafs just couldn't bury it. Jake Allen's been spectacular tonight. Spectacular. Riley with it at the point. Matthews, he looked like he was going to shoot that. Willie with the double touch. Oh, Habs will ring it around the boards. Wool saves the Leafs some time there. Do they get new bodies over the boards? Not Marner. He's going to take it in for a little skate. He's going to do it all by himself. Almost a highlight reel goal. Doesn't really get a shot off. Ooh, Sandine dancing. Yarn croak. Spunting. Another one for Michael. Absolutely, Scarborough. Let's go. What a game for Bunting, his second of the game. And that one looked an awful lot like the first one. Leafs don't score on the power play, but they score right after and they get a 3-1 lead. This play from Sandin. That is something. Over to Yarncroke, gets it to Bunting, and that is a well placed shot. Gets Allen just sliding over a little bit. He's been so good tonight, but he can't get in front of that one. Bunting's got a pair. Bunting puts it exactly where he needed to be. And that is Ryan O'Reilly's first point with the Leafs. Thank you to producer Tyson for that one. O'Reilly, not to be confused with O'Reilly. Gets it out. Has to chase it again. Has to throw it up again. Oh, Leafs, partial two on one here. Engvall in front. Oh, he can't find camp. Who I think was looking for a call there. 10 seconds to go. Engvall finds a little bit of room, fires it on. Lilligren gets it. 
Are the Leafs going to run out of time here? Engvall, you need to shoot. They do. Where is it? Gobbled up, and that'll be the end of the second period. And what a period. The Habs score first. But the Leafs come up with a 1-1 goal, a 2-1 goal, and a 3-1 goal. And it is a 3-1 Leaf lead heading into the third period. Bunting. Scarborough with a pair in this game. He's looking great. Ryan O'Reilly. He was on the ice for a goal. And we shed a single tear. But then he gets his first point as a Leaf. We love that. What a game. What a game. This rules. Enraged. <laughs> Says, what's your favorite dinosaur? Um, uh, the Totalosaurus, which is the made up dinosaur from Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, and I do like a raptor. I went to a raptor parade in 2019. Um, but, uh, a few dinosaurs just have funny names that I really liked as a kid. Uh, one is the Parasaurolophus, and the other is the Diplodocus. And I believe the Diplodocus is a lot like a Brachios Brachiosaur? Brachiosaurus? The one with the long neck. That one. Thank you for that question. You vibe with the Diplodocus stuff, said producer Louise. Um... Jeez Louise, can Steve sing Hall and Oats for us? If they score. I'm not just going to sing it into silence right now at intermission. That's, that's uncomfortable and weird. Ooh, JP Brown, what is the proudest moment of your career so far? Ooh. Ooh. Goodness gracious. Um, Ron McLean. Mentioned me on Hockey Night in Canada, a well, a couple times, but the first time he did it, my phone, like, almost melted. I still haven't been on Hockey Night in Canada. <laughs> Not in studio. My face has been on, and I've been like, try this. I've been in commercials and stuff, but haven't been in the studio. I would say hosting a party in Maple Leaf Square for game three of the 2017 series. Secure the bag, and the bag is two points. Matthews, oh my goodness, what a play! Oh my goodness! <laughs> wow! Austin Matthews, what a pass! To William Nylander. Who almost didn't put it in because he couldn't believe he had it. Look at Matthews bullying Kavadjus. How do you no sell that? How do you cool guys don't look at explosions that? He's getting hooked in the hands and pulls that off. Makes no mistake. Ew! Oh, I forgot to sing Hall and Oates. Shoot, you're right. Sorry, I was so mind blown. Okay, next time. <laughs> you make my dreams come true. I also don't know the words. Reese chasing it down. Oh, Achari helps create a turnover there. What's this? Uh-oh, here come the Habs! Oh, what a stop! Rem Pitlick, it's like he had too much time. He overthought that. Puck deflected wide. Lilgren, no! Oh, fourth line is able to get it out. Get off for a change there. Leafs ECHL team wasn't playing games, so then what do you do? Whoa! And he gets across to that one. This kid's pretty after, good. I think he drew a High stick. Suzuki cutting to his Bunting right, down. Says he's okay. 
It's Harvey Pinard getting the penalty. Right here. Yeah, it's Pinard who's getting the call. Whoa! Yo. Michael Bunting got high sticked in the face. And they actually called it? Dude. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Ryan O'Reilly's a leaf? And Michael Bunting? Is able to draw a call? In this economy? What's happening right now? Camp can't bury it. Canadians winning the Sit down. Dude with a price jersey. Boo. Engel circling. Wham! No goal. Yarn Croak gets Engel it to the point. Gets it back. Plays it towards the goal score. Engel puts it on. Rebound! David Kemp! Let's go! Don't make me sing the song, I don't know the words. David Camp. The first few weeks of the season, it felt like he couldn't stop scoring. And for the last few months, it's felt like he could not buy a goal. And that is a tap-in, and you see the relief on his face. I'll tell you what, this line's having a pretty good night. His first goal in 28 games. That's got to be his first goal of 2023. This is a guy who had three goals in his first eight games. But look out. Yarn Croak, you got to get one. Because this line's got two goals. Camp's got one. Engvall's got one. All right, before the game is done, Achari's got to score. Yarn Croak's got to score. O'Reilly's got to score. Matthew's got to score because it's fun. Who else needs to score? Pick a name out of it. Justin Hall. There he is. He has to score. We need that before the night is done. You have five minutes to go. Zero Sugar, I thank you, because this has been a fantastic game. Pitlick, skates in, skates back. Yarn Croak. Gets it out. Achari, there's still time. Put O'Reilly out there too. The clock will wind down, and Achari's debut O'Reilly's debut ends with a big W as the Toronto Maple Leafs win 5-1 to one over the Montreal Canadiens. Joseph Wool with a big night. That's a nice first game for the new guys. And they're right back at it again tomorrow night against the Chicago Blackhawks, who they just saw on Wednesday. Now the Blackhawks armed with a little bit of bulletin board material from last game with Sheldon Keefe. We'll see how they react to that. But this game, watch Hockey Night in Canada with Steve Dangle, presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, was quite a good one. And cheers. Cheers. Thanks for hanging out with us, everybody. That is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you liked this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. Shout out producer Louise. Shout out producer Mitch. And shout out producer Tyson. What a crew.